Question four, a student investigated the insulating properties of different materials. Now, insulating properties means they are trying to determine how good material is at slowing down movement of thermal energy. And in order to determine this, they're using this setup. So they've got a thermometer, they've got insulation around a metal can. This metal can is filled with hot water and there is a lid placed on top of it. Now they use this method, it says wrap insulating material around the can. So this is something important because this is what they will change. Put a fixed volume of boiling water in the can. So this is my control variable. Place the lid on the top of the can. This is to reduce heat losses. Measure the time taken for the temperature of the water to decrease by a fixed amount. So temperature of water decreased by fixed amount is again my control variable. It says measure the time taken this is my dependent variable because i'm going to measure it then it says repeat step one to four using same thickness of different insulating material this is my independent variable because i'm going to change it and same thickness is again my control variable now on this investigation it says identify the independent variable and dependent variable in this investigation so the independent variable in this case is one that is insulating material insulating that's my independent variable because i'm going to change it. second part is about dependent variable dependent variable is the one that we measure so i'm going to say it is time it then further tells us that the student used two different types of thermometer to measure the temperature changes. Figure 5 shows a reading on each thermometer. We've been given a thermometer A and a thermometer B. Now you need to remember this is my digital thermometer. But this one is analog. This was the resolution of thermometer B. Resolution means smallest increment. If I look at B, the reading will go up in point ones. So I can say the resolution is 0 0.1. Next part says, thermometer A is more likely to be misread. Give one reason. for it. This is an analog thermometer. So you'll have to make sure that your line of sight is at 90 degrees to the reading. If it is not, then you'll not be able to record the correct value. And that's what we call parallax error. So we can say here, due to parallax error. But if you want to describe it a bit more, we can say can be misread. It means number of lines may be miscounted. On this part, now there are number of values given to us. So probably we'll have to make use of an equation. So here it says, for one type of insulating material, the temperature of the water decreased from 85 to 65 degrees Celsius. So this means from these values, I can work out my delta T, which will be 65 take away 85. It is always final take away starting value, and that is minus 20 degrees Celsius. So the energy transferred from the water was 10.5 kilojoules. So this is the value of E, but I can't use it in this form because it's kilojoules. So I'll have to convert it into joules. And for that, I can do 10.5 times 5,000. And this is now in joules. Then it says the specific heat capacity of water is 4,200 joules per kilogram degree Celsius. So this is the value of specific heat capacity which is letter c it says calculate the mass of water in the can so calculate the mass means mass is not and it says use the physics equation sheet so when you go on the equation sheet you will have to pick up equation that contains e c and delta t plus must also contain m now sometimes instead of e they may use letter q as well so the equation that we are going to use is Q equals M times C times change in temperature. The value of Q is known, which is 10.5 times 5,000. The value of mass is not known, so I'll keep it as M. 
the value of C is known, which is 4200, and the value of change in temperature, which we worked out here, is also known, this will be 20. Once I've done this, I can multiply them to numbers. So it will be 10.5 times by 1000 equals M times 84,000. We divide both sides by 84,000. This is gone. We're left with M only on the right side. If you plug these values in your calculator, you'll end up with 0 0.125 grams. And this is my answer. Now you might be thinking here it was minus 20 and I've used a value of 20 here. This is just to show that this was a decrease in temperature. Next part says table 2 shows the results for two insulating materials. So material X and material Y. Time for temperature to decrease by 20 degrees Celsius in seconds. So the first one only took 450. But Y took 745 seconds. So this means Y is better insulator. Here it says, explain how the results in table 2 can be used to compare the thermal conductivity of two materials. What do we mean by word thermal conductivity? Thermal conductivity means how good it is at transferring thermal energy. So from the results, I can say X has high thermal conductivity. Now I have to give reason because it says explain. So I'll say because it gave out more energy in one second therefore took shorter time for temperature to reduce by 20 